So we're at the stand of Ijada, a UAE-based uh, security and consultancy company. And in fact, Ijada won an award at Intersec Awards for the most innovative product. It was, this is the uh, security robot. Uh, and I'm with uh, Robert Kerr, the senior manager of Akan Consultancy, a part of Ijada. Robert, um, thanks for uh, being on the show here with us today. Uh, first of all, the security robot. Um, tell us about this product and, and uh, what was the idea of uh, creating the security robot? Well, you know, Dubai's uh, uh, the number one for innovation on, on the planet, actually. So we we sort of are, are looking at ways that we can deliver our uh, services more efficiently and more smart. We've incorporated robots into the business. These arrived sort of probably in Q3 last year. Um, we've, we've done a, a number of testing around various sites in Dubai and they will be being deployed in Dubai Design District in the, the, the coming weeks. Nice, and, and how many will be deployed in Dubai, Dubai we'll Design have District? two of them in tandem. The battery life is approximately 12 hours, so while they're doing their patrols, one of them will be on the, if you see the charging point here, you know, the, the autonomous charging station, while the other one's still patrolling, um, so there'll be a continuous uh, cycle of the, the robots over a 24 hour period. And so obviously it's got the CCTV elements here, the, the camera. Yeah, uh, well, how do you program it? How do you, what do you sort of make it look out for when it, when it comes to... Well, what, uh, there's an initial setup process which involves setting all the, the preset tours. Uh, you can set up multiple preset tours. Uh, the robot will follow those uh, randomly if you want or it'll follow them in a specific sequence. There's, uh, on this model here, we've got the panoramic cameras, um, we've got the PTZ camera, um, and there's analytics built in as well for um, facial recognition or if there's any sort of altercations, uh, fires, whatever, you know, that we can detect all that and send it back to the command and control center mm -hmm. for the appropriate action to be taken. One of the things I asked at Intersec Awards when you actually won this was, yeah. is this one day going to replace manpower in terms of security guards? I don't believe we could ever do that. You know, we always need that human interaction, but certainly, you know, in these hot temperatures where you need the, you know, you've got sort of very large perimeter areas, you know, why not have the robots patrolling instead of like, it's too hot in it for, for humans to be walking about in these temperatures.